Welcome to the Artscribe tutorial. Today we're going to show you how to make your Frida Kahlo inspired retablo frame. Your kit has everything you need to design and decorate your retablo frame, including a gesso panel to complete a portrait. Gesso is the ideal surface to draw, paint, even collage onto. The kit has a set of gouache paints. These are water-based paints that provide a strong pigment and flat color. All you need to bring is scrap paper, scissors, a jar of water, and your creativity. Let's get started with the portrait. How this turns out may influence your approach to how you decorate your frame. So lay the carbon paper shiny side down on top of the gesso panel. Place the Frida Kahlo portrait on top of the carbon paper. A good idea is to use a little tape on each of the corners to stop the portrait moving when you draw. With your sharpened HB pencil, trace as little or as much of the portrait that you need. You'll find the carbon paper is sensitive to pressure, so you won't need to press very hard. If you're after a faint drawing on the panel, then press lightly. You now have a starting point to take the portrait in whichever style you want. You can refer to the vision board or the printed instructions for further ideas. Once you've finished your portrait, you're ready to get creative with the frame. Start by choosing the motifs you want to use, either cutting them out or tracing them. You can repeat a motif by tracing it. Transfer the image onto the frame by placing the drawn side of the tracing paper in position on the frame. Draw over the top. You can also repeat this process with the same tracing. Try out a few different designs with the motifs, images and milagros before gluing anything in place. Consider which motifs you want to stick down before you paint the frame. We recommend gluing the Milagros charms, or any other embellishments that you may want to add, after you have painted. Use the size 2 brush to apply PVA with thin, even strokes. Once you have decided on the colour scheme, you're ready to paint the frame. Paint the large areas with the half inch oval brush. And then go carefully around any detail using the brush size 0 or 2. We've added just a little bit of water to the paint to get an opaque finish. The more water added, the more transparent the paint becomes. If you've not used gouache before, it's worth practicing on some scrap paper to get that consistency right. Mm -hmm. 
Make your retablo more authentic by adding freehand patterns. The traditional Mexican folk art uses floral pattern, but you could explore designs relevant to the person depicted in the portrait. To create a symmetrical pattern, use the trace and transfer technique with your own designs. To create the dots, use the environmentally gentle cotton bud in your kit. Then once paint is dry, add contrasting colour to the dots using the Zero brush. Continue to use contrasting colours to develop the patterns and motifs on your frame. You can refer to the vision board for colour schemes. Use the black permanent liner pen to draw outlines and details. This will help them stand out. Don't forget to decorate the inside of the doors. Use a small blob of PVA to place the Malagros and any other embellishments you want to add. If the glue does squeeze out from the sides, it's best to just let it dry clear, rather than risk smudging the paint. You can always touch up any mistakes with the paint when it's dry. Find the holes on the side of the panel and screw in the hoops. Thread the cord through both hoops and tie with a double knot. Stick the sticky pads to the back of the frame, just inside the edge of the window. Remove the backing from the pads. These are very strong and sticky pads and they cannot be removed once they're stuck down, so you need to take your time when attaching it to the portrait. Place your portrait on a table, face up, then take the frame and hover the portrait with the doors open to align the portrait in the window. Firmly press down, and your retablo is ready for display.